Hi, my name's Tom. I'm the creative director here at Pitch, and these are the five steps that I needed to design a light trail. Step one, conceptualization and inspiration. We start by defining the purpose and message of our light trail. Uh, we think about the emotion and experiences we want to convey, which fundamentally means uh, coming out of like an overarching story for the trail. This needs to be kind of driven through the concepts which we think about. Um, we also kind of gather inspiration from outer sources. This may be kind of architecture, nature, past experiences, other light trails potentially. Um, and this kind of feeds into our uh, step one. Step two, location and environment. We study the location's characteristics, such as the terrain, lighting conditions, um, if there are any kind of architectural elements that can be incorporated into our design. Uh, we look into if there's any specific areas or trees or uh, certain elements of the trail um, which kind of would lend well to either just being lit up or installations. Step three, equipment and technology. And this is definitely my favorite part. Step three is about selecting the right equipment for the job. This might be projection, video, audio, lasers, LED lighting, and everything in between. They all play a very big part into making a light trail. We actually might even use kind of traditional um, elements such as like painting, canvases. This really helps bring the whole light trail experience together. Bit of a boring one, but we also have to determine the power source, that's kind of bringing in generators, or if there's a power source on site. Um, we have to bring in necessary backup systems, again, backup generators, backup equipment, backup everything, backup people. We also have to ensure that the light trail is reliable, so we have to make sure it's, the cable lengths aren't too long. Um, we sign it off by BS7909, and there's so many other elements to make sure that it's consistent and safe. Step four, design and composition. So in step four, we create a detailed design plan, which includes kind of the trajectory of the light trail, any color schemes, patterns. We also will consider how the installation will interact with the environment and audience. During this phase as well, we most likely do lots of user tests in R&D, uh, mock up the installations in our warehouse. Um, this is where we can test to see how they interact, um, make any kind of small changes based on what the feedback was. And this is a really vital stage in the process um, as it means this is kind of the last step before it goes to site. The final step, which is step five, is execution. Um, this is where we go to site, install all the lighting equipment, control equipment, uh, power, and all the installations which we've designed in-house. Um, we also will conduct um, BS7909 sign-off, which means we just have to make sure that all the cable runs aren't too long, the power management plan has to be followed correctly. Uh, we also might do some fine tuning um, of some of the installations and lights. So we might realize that actually that light doesn't work in that area or that installation needs some fine tweaks. Um, some of the video content isn't playing as intended or we need to make some last minute changes. So this is very much kind of the last, last step, um, making sure it kind of story flows, the installations look good, the lighting looks perfect. Um, and that and it brings it all together. So there you have it. They are my five steps um, that I use to design a light trail. Obviously, there are loads of other steps involved um, that go into it. Um, but thank you for listening. And if you ever need any advice or support, um, you know where to find us.